Hi everybody. In this tutorial, I plan to show you how you could make a convincible torch using particle effects in Unity. And right here I have uh, an example of a finished product. I'm just going to play it and if you like the way it looks, I guess you could keep watching the video. So here I have two torches and they have flickering and the particle effect is the fire coming off of them. And I mean, it's not the best effect in the world, but I had a quick and easy method to do it. So that's what we're going to find out how to do coming up next. One of the first things I did was um, I had to turn down the lighting on a default scene. So as you can see here in this scene, I have a room and inside the room I'm having the torch. So you could just see the torch light effect. And the room is, you know, it's just basically four cubes that I flattened out to make the walls, the floor, and the ceiling and stuff. All right. And then I just like um, zoomed up that size to like five, three, and five. That way I could go inside it like this and put some things in there. And what did I put in there? I put, I put a crate, just something to sh um, see shadows for. And then, of course, the torch. You know, so let's see, I think it's this torch right here that's in front of me. So the torch is just basically, I made it up of a stick, which is a cylinder. And what else? A stick, one point light, and then a particle system effect. So the particle system effect, um, the way it's lighting up is because as these little um, torch sprites are like coming up against the light, you'll see the light. Um, so the point light, it's just something that I reduced the range of. I changed the color to be like the color of fire. And the part where the light is flickering is just done by, to the torch itself, I have a script. And it's flickering. I play around with the intensity of the light. See how um, point light has an intensity, and based on if it goes up and down, that kind of have like a look of a fire. So when I noticed that, I said, okay, let me just do it in a script. And I made a script here where I take the intensity to go between, you know, two values, and the time that it changes the value of the intensity randomly is um, a tenth of a second. So the script is right here it's really small pretty simple the only thing i needed to add was um system collection generic actually i didn't have to add it that's what the squiggly line means okay so here's my public variables max and min and max intensity in the timer and then i just get a, a pointer in the script to a light so this script is on the torch level of my object, like the parent level, and the light is a child. So when I get a pointer to the light in the start function, I just use get component and children, and I get a light component, of which I have one, this point light. And then I use invoke repeating to call a flicker function every point one second. And the first time I call it is after 0.1 seconds. So flicker repeating, it takes the method name as a string. You give it the, a string of the method name. And then the first float time is how long it's going to take for it to make the first call. And then the second float time is the amount of times it calls it. So then here's my flicker. And basically, I pick a random value, a random float value, since these are floats, between the min intensity and the max intensity. So that's between 2 and 3. And then I just set the light's intensity to that. I mean, that's really simple. And then the particle system. Um, let me just show you the light flickering again, just so you can see it in my scene. I made two torches. OK. Then the, the particle system which you see right here is um, basically added uh, particles and they're looping and um, I just reduced the time and the speed to about 0 
and the size of the particle just because of the size of this room and everything it looked right when I set it down to 0.75 then that the particles are floating up I set the gravity modifier to a minus 0.3 okay so that's there in those settings then for the emission um, you could play with that but I set it to six and I guess if it would go higher it kind of just makes the fire look more violent you know like 10 is like I don't know so you know I just found it six to be a good number there and then the shape of the emission is a cone all right so the cone has the fire going upward in this direction and a little bit of randomness see of from where it starts to come out so the fire itself also looks like it's flickering okay and the last thing I had to do is um, play with the renderer um, I left it with the billboard effect and here's where I set the material for the billboard effect it's a fire and what I did for a fire was I basically just went on Google Chrome or, you know, I went to the Internet and I typed a search for fire texture, transparent. And then I just come up with all these. And I think this one right here was the one I picked. And you just got to note transparent. It's going to be like a PNG and I'll have like these, um, this checker pattern in the back and something that's not transparent. Let me see if there's one. Well, I did a search for transparent, so these should all be transparent. Like this one is not transparent. It's just, oh, it is. It's just a checkered pan. Anyway, I picked one that had a look of um, a torch. And then I would have dragged it into my project as a texture. All right. But since I'm going to use it as a um, something on my particles, I had to change the type to Sprite 2D UI. And then I just would press apply and then it would show up like this. And then when I go back to my particle system, um, I think I still needed it to be um, a material. It wouldn't just take a sprite. So here I have my materials folder. I just made a material out of the fire. I said create new material. And then for the albedo, I picked the um, that fire sprite and I put it there. And the only other thing is I had to have just the fire show and not the transparent part. So what I do is I pick rendering mode fade. By default, it's opaque. And I thought I would pick transparent, but it still kind of had this, you see, like a shadow of a thing there. And when I picked fade, that's the one I want. You see, it's totally gone. And that's how I got the fire effect. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything more to say about it. Uh, press play, and there you go. I kind of have like a scary dark dungeon look and feel with those torches. Uh, there you go. Thanks.